Allez. Good morning. Oh, don't know if you can hear that. Madam's got something to say. Heidi. Hope everyone's okay. In the UK, we've woken up to new restrictions, so now we can't go out. Um, funerals are exempted from that, so I will be taking a ceremony later. Uh, funeral directors just rang just to talk through a few logistics. Um, thankfully, it's a nice day, so any folks that are there can wait outside till we're ready. It's um, it's all a bit weird, but everyone's in this situation, you know. I'm not, we're all experiencing restrictions of some kind or other, whether they're guide guidelines or instructions. So this is what we've got to do. Um, there are, do seem to be some people ignoring that. A friend of mine messaged this morning say her neighbour, who's a gardener, had gone out working with his son, who lives elsewhere, and you just think, why? Why? I know they'll be outside, and they can probably be six feet away from each other, but really, they're not going to go anywhere near their customer, because I expect they'll take the money still. You know, I just... Um, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So, a bit of footage um, to start with of Madam sitting in the um, in front of open doors. I had a comment on previous uh, vlog saying that she was looking longingly out the door. So I kind of put that one up partly to have the sound of bird song, which was very loud this morning. Whether that's because there's less traffic, I don't know. Um, but also to show that she just sits there, whether the door's open or closed. So so that's kind of what she does. Um, yeah, I'm all throughout the day, I think. Um, we can take one bit of exercise outside each. So himself is going to do the morning walk. I'll do the walk this evening. And the rest... We just are waiting and seeing. Um, these restrictions have been put in place. They'll be reviewed after three weeks. So we'll see how things are then. Um, I've got a virtual knit night again this week. That'll be tomorrow. Thursday, uh, my friend and mindfulness teacher Janine is um, arranging a virtual mindfulness group. So we'll have a, a group meditation. So... We'll see if I can fall asleep in my own place as well as I can in the room that's normally held in. Um, thinking of things mindful, I had a lot of very positive response to the breathing suggestions um, that I talked about a couple of days ago. And the lovely Claire, who is... Now, if I get this wrong, Claire, please forgive me. I believe you're a counsellor, but if it's a different title to that, then then please forgive me. Now, Claire and I have known each other... Well, I would say 20 odd years, but obviously I'm only 25, so that can't be the case. Work with me. Um, but she has put some comments in um, giving more breathing suggestions that she finds helps. She finds help. Oh, I can't speak this morning. I better get that sorted before I take my ceremony. Her clients find useful. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them from her comment from the other day and put them in the notes below. So thank you very much for those, Claire. Uh, I hope folks find them useful. Like I say, they'll be in the notes, as Amy would say, right down there. And um, I hope they're useful to you. Let's see what the day brings. It is another glorious sunny day. It's absolutely beautiful out there. So let's hope it remains. Just one other uh, thing, which I will talk about more in my monthly pod podcast. Yes, um, I have broken my yarn buying embargo. There are so many businesses that could just do with the help. So I had a look at those that were unable to exhibit at a big yarn show at the weekend and I made some purchases. And although this is possibly 
a little foolish because my income appears to be reduced at the moment because people aren't having funeral ceremonies but um, this is not a time to clinging everything close you've got to try and share the love obviously buying yarn yeah I'm really taking one for the team there aren't I um, and the other thing is I budget for fuel for the month and I haven't been anywhere so I haven't spent much so um, so there's that money that I'm more than comfortable to to share to to businesses so hopefully that'll do a little bit of good to a few people it's a small thing but as we know we you know whether it's taking your neighbour some milk or catching up with an old friend small things can go a long way so cheers everyone I've got my shush I'm counting mug let me put it up there so it focuses thank you hope you're all having a good day and I will catch up with you later Sorry, we've got weird afternoon light again. Um, right, the funeral happened. Um, there weren't many people there. What I've actually done, I mean, to, to give you an example of how few people there were there, this is a picture of what this chapel normally looks like. And this is what it looks like now. So funerals are still happening, but numbers are restricted. The government guideline is immediate family only, but immediate um, varies family to family. Some people are very close, some people more distant. So all different things. Um, because a lot of people couldn't turn up, uh, what I have done is recorded the ceremony and put it as an unlisted video on this channel now please don't worry you're not going to suddenly find yourself watching someone's funeral the idea of the unlisted is that only those with a link to it can see it it can't just be found by searching i'm only going to keep it up there for a week partly because i've had a um oh, i just didn't think i've had a copyright claim on it it's i'm, I'm not in trouble um but of course the ceremony contains music and it's not music I have rights to so that's been flagged up. But hopefully people who couldn't be there in person will be able to see it, see what we said and I'll take it down in just over a week so that's all good. Um, yeah, just carrying on. I've just written the last bit of the other two funerals I have this week. Um, just going to go and pick up some messages from the last vlogs. I'm wondering why I should call it Covlog19. No, I probably shouldn't. Um, then I shall call my dad, do some ironing, take the dog out for a walk. I had been um, leaving it for himself to do both dog walks because I know he was getting stir crazy just kind of being indoors. But now the government guideline is outside once for exercise per person then he's doing one walk in the day I'm doing the other so the dog still gets both of hers because that's what she normally has and we're, we're taking it in turns so so I shall take madam out in a little while and then just more watching tv and knitting in the evening or watching videos youtube and knitting in the evening so I'll I'll catch up with you before I end cheers Hello lovelies. Well that's the end-ish of another day. What time is it? 7.30, so just something to eat now and another evening knitting. Cracking on with these things. I don't know about you guys, but I really want quick gratification projects at the moment. This would be the perfect time to sit down with a, a massive project and plough through it. But I'm not in the right headspace for that. I, I'm enjoying little things like the the baby surprise that I'm working on because it'll be over soon and then I can start on something else and just keep things kind of it's a little bit of a fidgety thing I think but um that's kind of where I, my head is at at the moment so I hope you're all well excuse the state of my hair I really need a haircut and I should have had it done about two and a half weeks ago and that's something I wish I had done now <laughs> But there are more things to worry about than how my hair is. So if I end up with a mullet, I end up with a mullet. It's okay. 
have a good day wherever you are hope you can keep safe keep well hope you can get the things that you need and that you are doing okay thanks to everyone who's commented i love to hear from you love to hear what you're up to love to hear your thoughts uh quote of the day and i'm sorry i didn't write this down who said it I will try and remember for tomorrow, but I was saying yesterday about the this too shall pass and someone suggested yes, like a kidney stone. So on that thought, I shall wish you a pleasant evening, a pleasant day, and I'll catch up with you hopefully tomorrow. Take care everyone.